Hello, so we're making a state flag quiz Android app and as you can see I've already got started and this is a typical image view these are four buttons which I've already took the text off of I've already um, renamed my um, my widgets with these IDs so I'll let you get that far uh, on your own if you need help put a comment and I'll make a video <laughs> um, but I think you followed me or a lot of people enough to know how to do that much I've also made copies of all the state flags and put them in the drawable file folder I mean rather uh, we have our state model which is your name and your image okay the constructor and the set and the content and our getters okay and now we're going to be working on the database um, class an, another class and what I'm doing is I'm making an integer array with the name of flags and I am listing all of the um, flags uh, with their uh, um, drawable name and then ID name and then I'm going to also list all the answers so I'm going to pause here and come back when I get that done okay okay as you can see I've got all of our drawables in here the flags do show up here um, and then the answers in the string array here okay now I'm going back to the main activity done a little work here I have um, declared our variables up here we have our buttons we have our image view and we have a list for which is our state model okay I've gone down here and I have um, cast our variables two of you okay and now what I've done is I've gone through and set all the on-click listeners for the buttons and now we're going to work inside it we've set up our for loop to add all the flags to the list and um, you can see how that is done here. We're using our state model. We're getting the position I of our answers, and then we're getting that same position I for the flags and adding that to our list, our array list. Okay. Okay, I've added the, the very simple shuffle command for our collection of data, and that's all there is to that. You can see that right here um, collections.shuffle.list. And now we're going to go down here and work on our new question uh, method. This method new question is going to set our flag image. We can type that in there just to remind ourselves that we are set. set flag now we're going to, as we're going to shuffle our questions, we need to come up here and declare a um, new random variable okay and um, I also need to put it right here new random that's it for that now we've uh, decided where to put our correct answer okay that will be changing we're going to implement code within these case statements to do that and we're initializing our buttons in case one we're setting the text to get the the name of the um, first button okay and we're going to then we're going to set the other buttons we're going to use the random to pick a name out of the list no matter how big the list the the entire list and then we're going to pick that um, next integer while the second button is equal to the first button the third you know and goes on just to make sure we don't get any duplicates in there and our answers and then it says this so what we're going to do is we're going to copy this over into each case and then change the numbers for, to match the case and I'll show you when I get to we are going to change answer one to answer four and then down here we have to change this four to a one okay now in three 
3, we got to change that 3 to a 1. This is so we have all four buttons covered, right? And that's answer 3. This is answer 2, so that 2 goes to a 1, and that 1 goes to a 2. Now setting the on um, click listener for the buttons, we need to declare a, a new variable term as an integer and set it to 1, okay? And we are also going to call the, um, after we shuffle, we call a new question method and uh, pass in our turn parameter. If they clicked on answer one button, okay, we're going to get the um, get the text, put it to string, and we're going to see if it equals um, what's on the list and you know what what's the name. So if it does, and we're going to say, hey, you're correct. And if the last question, if it, we're going to check to see if this is the last question, and if it doesn't, um, if it is, we're going to say you finished the quiz else then the question is obviously incorrect but we're not going to kick them out of the quiz we're just going to keep on going right so now we're going to copy this over to the other button. copied all the the code for the on click listener and for each um, button answer you know so number four I changed this to number four for number three I changed the answer three to number three etc or two and two now I am um, hit the run button and waiting to run the uh, product. Uh, <laughs> all my buttons were coming up with the same name and that's because down here um, all of I was getting the first button each time. I forget. <laughs> you might want to do that before you copy all this code down. <laughs> okay. And it says let's go to so that's pretty much a given. That one is New York. Okay, South Dakota, it wasn't Connecticut, Nebraska, uh, hmm. go Wyoming, huh? No, Iowa, okay, Kansas, let's see what it is. It's easy when they show it to you, right? <laughs> Um, Colorado? Nope. And I know that one. My home state. Yeah, Oklahoma. Arizona. Yeah. Huh. Why? Or why not? Let's go with Vermont. Nope. Okay, well, so you can see it's working. <laughs> I'm having fun here. Um, tomorrow or the next video, I'll show you how to add a score to your game. Okay, and we might do a few other things as well. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.